Sleep training methods are techniques used to help babies learn how to fall asleep on their own and sleep for longer stretches at night. Different methods work for different families, and it's essential to choose an approach that aligns with your parenting style and your baby's needs. 1. Gradual Extinction Ferber Method This method involves allowing your baby to cry for short, progressively increasing intervals before offering comfort. For example, you might wait 3 minutes before comforting, then 5 minutes, and so on. The goal is to gradually increase the time between comforting intervals until your baby learns to self-soothe and fall asleep independently. 2. Controlled Crying Cry it out method. In this method, you put your baby down to sleep and let them cry for a predetermined amount of time before checking on them. The intervals typically increase gradually. The idea is to give your baby the opportunity to learn to self-soothe and fall asleep independently. 3. Chair Method in this method, a parent sits in a chair near the crib but gradually moves farther away over time. The goal is to reduce the baby's reliance on parental presence to fall asleep. 4. No Tears Method Gentle Sleep Training This approach emphasizes responding promptly to your baby's cries and providing comfort without letting them cry it out. Techniques may include rocking, patting, or other soothing methods to help your baby fall asleep. 5. Pick up or put down method. This method involves picking up your baby when they cry and putting them down when they are calm but still awake. The goal is to teach your baby that they can fall asleep on their own with your support. 6. Fading method. In this method, you gradually reduce your involvement in helping your baby fall asleep over time. For example, if you typically rock your baby to sleep, you might reduce the rocking motion each night until your baby can fall asleep with minimal assistance. 7. No Cry Sleep Solutions. These methods focus on gentle techniques to improve sleep without letting your baby cry it out. Strategies may include creating consistent sleep routines and sleep-friendly environments. It's crucial to note that sleep training is a personal choice, and there is no one-size-fits-all approach. Additionally, sleep training is typically recommended for babies older than 4 months and should be discussed with a pediatrician. Always prioritize your baby's safety and well-being throughout the sleep training process, and be prepared to adjust your approach based on your baby's temperament and needs. Consulting with a pediatrician or a certified sleep consultant can provide tailored guidance and support. Thanks for watching.